Hi, I'm Dane Baptiste. Now, if you watched the last episode, welcome back. If you watched the last episode, you didn't enjoy it, then what are you doing back here? Well, welcome black hater. We continue with our A to Z of blackness. <laughs> Now for the letter D. I guess we should probably go with diversity, it's the hot topic. I just want you guys to understand, we come in all shapes and sizes and colours of the melanin, chocolate, mahogany, caramel tinge rainbow. Nowadays, mainstream media want y'all to think that they're being diverse, but normally you only get two archetypes of black person. If you're a man, you old as hell and you're a magical negro like Morgan Freeman, or you young as hell and you got out like Lil Wayne. If you're a woman, you've got to be a mammy or you've got to be some kind of sex pot like Cardi B. That's not how we all work. We'll come back to that though. I know some of you were thinking you wanted me to talk about my dick, the talisman of black masculinity. Look, having a big dick is a blessing and a curse. You know why? In a patriarchal society where it's the biggest dick that has the biggest clout, well, maybe slavery would have ended earlier if people are so intimidated by our big old diggity dicks. D could have also been for a disability, because a lot of the time the world tells black children their skin is a disability, but there is nothing wrong with having dark skin, because that dark skin contains carbon that protects you from toxins and radiation. Why do you think laboratories only use white mice and rats to test stuff? Because the black one's too powerful. And even if you are dark, you could be a member of the dark skin society and join the likes of Giggs, Santan Dave, and even Giggs' manager, Buck. At the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with having big lips. Who wants to kiss someone else's gums? That's disgusting. You want a French kiss someone's nose? Ain't nothing wrong with having a natural pout. Ladies and gentlemen and members of the non-binary community, at the end of the day, there's no disability associated with being black. Although, sometimes I use disabled toilets because structural racism damages my social mobility. D could be for destruction of black civilization. You take away our names, religion, language, freedom to marry, associate, learn, plus take away our ability to own any equity, how do you not expect us to be a little bit destructive? The other issue is when we don't own stuff, like we can't have any kind of legacy. So when you get to a certain age as a black person, you can't work. But Charlie Sloth is 42 and Tim Westwood is old enough to be my dad. And the blackest thing about him is his hair dye. The guy is older than all of OFB combined. I'm just saying that black people, despite the number of Ds I came up with, are very diverse. And we don't just come from Africa. You get black people that are black goths, you can get black Scientologists, black people into anime, black people into having like fluffy sex orgies. Maybe, I don't know them. At the end of the day, all you guys need to understand is within our diversity, it's like the Forrest Gump film. Black people, like life, are like a bunch of chocolates. Different shades, different levels of sweetness. Some of us have a hard exterior, but a soft center. Some of us have a fruity center. And some of us are just nuts. But that's who we are. And that's the richness of our diversity. E is for equality. I mean, if we had equality, would I need this show? E is also for equity. If we had equity, would I need this show? E is of course for exaggeration or embellishing, which can be good or bad. You know, like exaggerating about your dick. I mean, we need to embellish all the time, especially as a black person in today's jobs market. Like when you're going for a job, take me for example. You'll find me in an interview with my embellished CV with someone saying something like, okay, Dane, so it says here, after you graduated from Hogwarts and defeated the Decepticons, that you served in MI5. Could you tell us more about that, please? To which I reply, I would love to, but that shit's classified. But exaggerating can also be very bad. That was me exaggerating and shit. And nowhere is it worse than on social media. We are taking more pictures of how we live in now than we have ever taken as a civilization. And a picture is worth a thousand words. Although a lot of those words can be lies. Most people in society are not entrepreneurs and do not own over 100K a year. That's okay if that's not you. Keep on hustling. And finally, if you gangster, my job is to observe, never to judge. But if you playing it gangster, you keeping it real gangster, then you know what? You can't have social media. Now, there's another example of black exaggeration and that comes down to our energy. And normally, when it comes down to black energy, we're good at showing energy. For example, when a black person graduates, when a black person gets a discount, we love that. Also, when black people taste something delicious, that's when you get the good energy. You ever seen a black person eat a good chicken sandwich? They'd be like, who made this sandwich? I wanna know who the fuck made this sandwich. This shit is delicious, delicious. Now, Let's motion these lips and uh, we'll move on to F. Fragility, well we know that one, but we'll get to Karen later on. Farts, which are terrible, especially for black people still eating lactose. 
and some of you black bodybuilders using that creatine. You know what your farts are like, and don't fuck me up because I said it either. No, no. RF is for the silent killer of black people, and that is fructose. If you don't know, fructose is another name for cornstarch. First of all, how the fuck are you getting syrup and starch from corn? I never saw Native Americans doing that, but now we do it and we make it into sugar, so Christians, Muslims, young, old, we can all become addicts. And I'm speaking as addicts. I love sugar. I love going to America and having sugar. In the UK, we got one type of Skittles. Americans got five. And we drink carbonated beverages here, but you guys drink soda, like orange soda, and it's better than Fanta. Is it true? You bet your fucking ass it is. Sorry, my people, fructose ain't good for us. I know because sugar took my hairline and seven of my teeth, okay? Now people say, don't fat shame. Don't talk about people's weight. You know what's worse than someone saying you need to lose weight? A doctor saying we have to amputate. So let's cut down on the Pop-Tarts, the Kool-Aid, the Mickey D's, the Popeyes, the Wingstop, the condensed milk, anything beige, guys, because refined sugar is white like cocaine. What's another word for cocaine? White girl. Conspiracy? I don't know. But at the end of the day, I want my people healthy. Join us on the next episode where we'll be talking to the G's, the hustlers, and the intellectuals, because we're doing GHI and beyond. Catch you soon. Peace. Please remember to click, like, share, and subscribe, and to just to be a happy person by watching these videos. Enjoy yourself or be miserable. I can't control you from this side. <laughs>